you guys it's me again and we're back with an april plan with me video this time it is actually kind of on time so yeah i hope you guys enjoy let's get started with my supplies i'm using a unikuru toga mechanical pencil and a sakura art eraser um some a tombow fudenosuke brush pen in the hard tip and then i think crayola super tips is what's supposed to show up right now yes crayola super tips in these colors um yeah that's about it uh, oh also my lightstream bullet journal in beige puppet dyes so yeah um let's get started with the april theme uh this month i am doing a sunflower theme so first i'm gonna start out with the title which is just in this font that I remember asking my friend what it was called, but I forgot what it was called, but it's like a font I've never actually tried before. It looks like, I really don't know what it looks like, but it's like those fonts that you would see at like a fancy brunch place, I want to say, like on the menu. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just, I drew it out in pencil beforehand and I'm just lining it with the brush pen. I like using the brush pen more than fine liners for some reason, just because it's like more dynamic, I feel like. Oh, and I'm really struggling to put the cap on some of these uh, super tips, so I gave up, but yeah. So I'm drawing in those like centers of the sunflowers because they're like dark brown in the center. So that's just kind of an idea of like getting the angles of the flowers and like where you want them. Um, you can also sketch these out beforehand, up to you. But I found, I did, and then I erased them, and I just kind of eyeballed it. But yeah, it's it really helps when you're drawing sunflowers to like kind of change up the angles a little so it looks more like dynamic, I want to say. It's like less like repetitive than just like a bunch of sunflowers facing forward. But then I know they're all supposed to face the same way or something. Okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> then I'm going in with the yellow super tip to just uh, draw in the petals. So that's pretty standard. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are doing well and your families are staying safe. Um, I am currently at home in my room as I have been for the past few weeks. What have you guys been doing um, during this whole staying home, social isolation uh, period of time? Because I've actually found that I'm not that bored yet. Like I still have school going online, like my courses are all online, so I still have to keep up with lectures and assignments. Um, for some reason, I found it easier to exercise now because I have more time. Like, I literally hate doing my homework so much that I would rather exercise. And that is, like, a first. Um, I also clean up my room sometimes. You know, just, like, it feels like the day passes by so slowly, but it also feels like every single day, I still do nothing. Like, I still don't get enough things done, so it's just weird. I also bought Animal Crossing. It is currently sitting on my desk because I'm waiting to play it until... Uh, I'll play it after I finish my homework. But I haven't finished my homework. So that's like, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, so now I'm using the green super tip to draw in the stems. So I looked this up. I just know they have straight stems and then they have long skinny leaves that like droop a little bit. Or at least that's how I've always been drawing sunflowers. But, I mean, it's, I, I think I went off frame here, so that was my bad. Because I was trying out a new, like, filming setup. But yeah, now you can see it. But So yeah, long straight stems, and then I want to say, like, alternating single leaves on stems. I don't know, I just drew it look nice. I don't know if this is, like, scientifically accurate or whatever. But, haha, <laughs> we'll just have to see. Yeah, um... The weather's been so nice and it's so like frustrating to not be able to like hang out with my friends and like go to the park because we have to be you know physically isolating ourselves but i've also spent a lot of time talking to my friends online through like video chat zoom and like we play like scribble and like um uh, code names and like some fun games like that and also like i picked up minecraft again so yeah i hope you guys are also able to stay in touch with your friends it's really good to do that and it makes you feel a lot less lonely and it's also like something to look forward to like i know i try to call somebody at least once like a different person like at least every evening so that i have like social interaction for the day and so yeah um 
I, at first I was not gonna fill it in, but I decided to fill in the letters. I think it looks better, like, there's like a stronger contrast. Like, it pops more from the sunflowers, so I decided to fill it in with a brush pen again. Oh, and like, when you fill it in, it really helps because you get to kind of adjust your mistakes by just filling it in. So you can, if you originally drew your letter too skinny, you can just widen them by adding some extra lines. I, I don't know, I'm really bad at explaining today. So yeah, um, then I'm going in with the green super tip again to draw the uh, grid lines for the calendar. So that's pretty usual. I realize I never say how many like spaces I use, but each day is four dots wide and five dots long. I mean, this only really helps if you're using like a pocket journal. But this is actually the last month that will be in this journal because it's a pocket journal. It doesn't have that many pages. So I managed to fit all of my uh, second year of university, so September to April, all in one journal, which is pretty neat. I also have a new journal lined up for May, so you guys can stay tuned until sometime next month where I'll be releasing a video about setting up that journal. Hopefully I'll do it before the end of the month, actually. But yeah, I have a new one coming soon. And I also have some more Plan With Me stuff coming soon. And I noticed that you guys actually were curious to see my fountain pen collection, which is not really much of a collection. I have like six, but um, I'll also be doing a video on that because you guys are pretty curious. And honestly, I love fountain pens. Like they are the best. Um, yeah, so this is the last monthly Plan With Me in this journal this like tiny little A6 size. I'll be moving up to a B6 slim, if you guys know what that means. Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm finishing up the grid there. I like that the sunflowers kind of overlap those last few grids because honestly, I don't need that much room. I'm not doing much anymore. I'm home all day. But yeah, I'm using the yellow uh, marker to do the headings for each day of the week. So that's pretty straightforward. This is actually the only clip that was in real time. Everything else I had to speed up. Yeah, and then I'm going in with the the brush pen again to write to do with the same font that I used for the title, but like more simplified because it's smaller. And then I do the exact same thing with the days of the week as well. So I go like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I think that's what I do. Oh, not yet. I'll do that later. Oh yeah, and then I use the yellow marker again to draw the circles where I put the numbers for each day. Yeah, it's pretty nice, like, being home all day, but also not. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, oh, I also guess I, I started playing volleyball again, like with my brother. Um, because I watched Haikyuu and I got really inspired. I used to really love Haikyuu, like... In high school, I was obsessed with Haikyuu. Well, it's also I, also, I also played volleyball in high school. So it makes sense that I was obsessed with a volleyball anime. But when I watch it again, I'm like, oh my goodness, volleyball is the best thing ever. And the cool thing about Haikyuu is that, like, the characters are so lovable that you actually root for, like, the antagonists. Like, you, like, some, I was sad when the antagonist teams lose because I know that the antagonist teams work so hard to get to where they are and then they lose. So, I mean, that's like some writing talent if like you can write your antagonist to be like relatable and like lovable just as much as your protagonist. So, yeah, I like Haikyuu. You guys should watch Haikyuu. And it made me like play volleyball again. Like I play every day in like the backyard. It's like, yeah, good times. And it's a good way to get outside and enjoy the fresh air. So, yeah, um, I think I'm finishing it up. I don't think I'm finishing it up. I have a whole other spread, but yeah the monthly setup is done. That's what it looks like. And then we'll move on to the some lines a day page. Honestly, I'm not that great at keeping up with my some lines a day. Like I usually leave it until like, like I leave like four days blank and then I come back and I just go like, oh, what did I do on Tuesday again? And then I just kind of guess, but I don't know. I should probably try to like figure out a better system of memory keeping because this looks like even though this is so simple already, it's not as effective. And then I wanted to do a habit tracker, but I honestly didn't have enough pages to do a habit tracker. So I might just do that next month in May because my journal is slightly bigger. So I'll be able to incorporate more things. But yeah, 
I'm use I use the brush pen to write that uh, some lines a day in like really loose like calligraphy script, and then I drew a couple more sunflowers, just like this time loose with like no stems, and then drawing the leaves. The some lines a day is like the easiest spread I make because it's just you write the words, you draw a couple things on the side, no big deal. Yeah. But I really love reading them back. Like, I've been doing them since September. It's really fun to read them back. Oh yeah, and then I draw a couple sunflowers on the bottom right side, just for like extra fun. But yeah. Um, I don't know, I didn't have much else planned to say. I really blasted through all of that content. Oh, I am really excited to play Animal Crossing. If you guys play Animal Crossing, um, I don't know if I should add you. Like, I don't think I have Nintendo online yet. Um, let me know what your village fruit is. When I played it on the DS, I had oranges. To be honest, I didn't like oranges that much. I think when I play, I want to get cherries, apples, or peaches. So basically, not oranges. I guess pears are okay too, meaning I just don't want oranges. Because I don't like the way the perfect orange looks. I don't know. So yeah, that's my spread. Um, hope you guys like this theme. This was like very different from my usual actually. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you're staying safe, stay, staying safe and healthy and staying home. So yeah, bye.